Hello everyone, it's Brian here in Toronto. Today I am going to do a uh, contest entry for Randall Weaver. Now I'm hoping the chainsaws have stopped. There was uh, lots of action out front uh, with a neighbor's tree being cut down by the city. Lots of uh, tree removal noises, which I could hear, but maybe you wouldn't be able to hear anyway. So Randall Weaver from Nashville is having a contest because he's been in the vinyl community for five years and has made almost 500 vinyl community videos, which is fantastic. He's one of the first batch of channels I subscribe to. And the contest entry ends, or the contest ends on April 30th. So you have a bit of time to do it. The prize is a At The Movies Jazz Dispensary compilation, which he showed on his channel. Of course, I will leave a uh, link below. So there are two ways you can enter this contest. You can show five records that you think you've heard a hundred times, or five records that you think will hold your interest for a hundred spins. And these, of course, can be tapes, CDs, A-tracks, records, reel to reel, whatever you like. Just let them know you've done it. And here's something I thought I would never say, and that is that uh, Steve, at all the world's a stage, may be, well, he might be right or he might be onto something because, as we all know now, he, he has a spreadsheet in which he records how many times he's listened to records. Now, from a certain date, that doesn't go back to, you know, his very first record, but it, it has a recording of how many times he's, a tally of how many times he's listened to records, which is very interesting because I was thinking back on that thread, the 10 records I've listened to the most, which I did. I did, I did uh, 11 records for that thread, and then I did a follow-up, the 15 more records I've listened to the most. <laughs> so that was 25 records, which, you know, when I did that, I didn't know if they were at the 100 threshold or not. I, I sort of assumed I listened to them a lot, but I don't know if they're 100. Isn't that weird? But this didn't make me think. So instead of going back and repeating maybe some of the things that I did in that thread, I'm going to focus on, focus on records that are almost in the 20-year-old range that I'm sure will continue to hold my attention for at least 100 spins if, they don't have, if, they have, if they're not there already. So that's a long introduction. <laughs> and these are actually, believe it or not, I put them in chronological order by accident. And um, let's start. Now, all of these I have listened to on CD first. So let's start with the Hold Steady, Separation Sunday. Now, I've mentioned this band more than once, but my first exposure was uh, Compact Disc, Hold Steady, this one, and Brothers, uh, Boys and Girls in America from 2005. This one's from 2005. This is a later vinyl pressing from 2016. Now, I have mentioned them before because they're a favorite band of mine, and I think that... I often say they're the best rock band in America. They're certainly in the style of like a pub band or something. I've seen them in concert. Fantastic. Separation Sunday is, to my money, their best record. Although I, Boys and Girls in America is a close second. It's a concept record. It follows some of the characters mentioned in their first record called Almost Killed Me. Um, you know, Craig Finn, the singer and lyricist, sings in a kind of a shout singing style. After the band's fourth record... He did take singing lessons, which I think is reflected in the follow-up record. But it's a bit of, I'm not going to say abrasive, but it's its um, not my, its not the most polished singing style. On the other hand, his vocals, um, I think, are really, are really great. It's, it kind of suits the music. You've got these giant power chords from Tad Kubler. We have a keyboard player for most of the records. And uh, his lyrics have often been compared to Springsteen, so that's kind of interesting. But it's even hard to pick up. Uh, favorite song. This is a phenomenal record. Now, I will say, the first time you hear it, you might be underwhelmed, but keep listening. It is it is really great. I saw them in concert. Um, really fantastic. If you want to get a sense... Well, Your Little Hood, Fre Your Little Hood Rhett Friend was a single. I don't think it's the best song on the record, but Banging Camp, <laughs> Stevie Nicks, N-I-X. Chicago Seemed Tired Last Night. Oh my god, this is so good. Whew. Here's the inner sleeve. And it's on... Uh, White Vinyl from 2016. Now, for the second record, I've gone with uh, a guy. I could have chosen a number of later career records from this guy, but I chose Modern Times from Bob Dylan. And here is the CD. Of course, this was uh, on my iPod during an epic three-week trip through Europe. So I listened to it on the train a lot through um, that and Together Through Life, uh, through Switzerland and whatnot. Um, but speaking of Together Through Life, I could have also mentioned maybe um, Time Out of Mind, uh, Together Through Life, possibly um, Love and Theft as Dylan records that I know I'll, I'll keep listening to. 
Starts out with uh, Thunder on the Mountain. Fantastic. The Levee's Gonna Break. Oh my God, such good songs. This is not the original pressing, of course. This is a later black vinyl edition, which is fantastic. I've never seen Bob Dylan in concert. I hear mixed reviews, but I don't know, it's probably too late now. So uh, let's move on to the third record. And this is something I listen to, uh, continue to listen to. In fact, I listened to this yesterday. So there you go. The National called Boxer. And here it is, the CD I bought when it came out. And uh, this is from 2007. Dylan was 2006. Uh, for my money, this is probably the band's best record, although, you know, I guess there's a case to be made for High Violet, maybe Alligator, maybe Trouble Will Find Me, but um, I saw this band in concert too, really great. Um, Fake Empire, Mistaken for Strangers, Brainy, Squalor Victoria, oh my god, Slow Show, Apartment Story, Star War, it's all great. On the mellower side, I would say, not completely mellow, uh, but just a phenomenal record. And I said I played this yesterday, much to the dismay of my partner Cecile, she did not... She does not like this band at all, so I find that really surprising. <laughs> but anyway, because I love them, I think they're great. Although, in later years, I think they've lost a bit of something. Um, I Am Easy to Find was a record from them that I didn't really love. Okay, moving on to another band that I have mentioned many times before, but not this record. That is Spoon. Ga, 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 ga. Here is the CD from 2007, when it came out. Fantastic. I love this band. I think Spoon has pretty much hit the nail on the head, with the exception of maybe their first record, which was maybe they were still maturing their sound. So but after that, I think they've done nothing wrong. They continue to make amazing records. I'm looking forward to the next one. Uh, and uh, this is really, really great. Uh, but again, choosing a favorite, not it's not necessarily a favorite, but choosing a Spoon record is difficult because I continue to listen to Spoon and the records that came out before or after this I still listen to but this one I picked because it might be the best Spoon record. Great. And number five to wrap this up is again a band that I mentioned before but not this particular record and that is TV on the radio and this is Dear Science. Here is the CD. They put out three, no four, four records. There's the band. And there was a previous um, CD-only release called OK Calculator, kind of a riff on OK Computer. Um, and I think this band just got get, got better and better. But um, but this one, their third record, I think is their best. It's better than the fourth record. Uh, Dear Science, there's the back. Can't show you this. Here we go. Photo of the band and lyrics. Boy, I'm backwards on the computer. The lyrics, which are in this giant paragraph, which is just ridiculous. You can't even, you can't read it. So I don't know what's going on there. And this is a later repressing, because this was from 20, 2008, September 2008. And this is a, a white vinyl pressing from years later. But this is phenomenal. I just, I've always loved this record. It's the first, well, it's the first one I got, but I think it's their best, their best album. <laughs> Dancing Shoes, Golden Age. Oh, I don't know. It's all great. Fantastic album. So I recommend that one. And I continue to listen to all these. In fact, I listened to this one yesterday too. So uh, some of these I listened to quite recently. And someday, if I don't die first, they will reach 100 probably. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Don't forget to go to Randall Weaver's channel and consider making a, uh, an entry into this uh, contest. Talk to you later.